Well, more on that breaking story we first told you about at five. Some employees for the city of New Orleans may be asked to report to work without getting paid, and thousands of others may be furloughed. That's the latest announcement from Mayor LaToya Cantrell as she tries to budget for the impact of the pandemic. Paul Dudley joins us live now with details on the mayor's proposal. Dudley, Paul, excuse me. <laughs> Sorry, Paul. <laughs> I respond to both, Karen. I respond to both. Uh, no, this is a big, diddy, big deal for the city here, and uh, it's a, a decision that is expected to impact about 4,000 city workers. That includes police officers. That includes firefighters. New Orleans Mayor LaToya Cantrell says this decision was made because the pandemic has really forced the city into a situation that she really described as dire, a dire financial situation here for the city. Simply put, there is a gap of about $41 million, and these furloughs aim to chip away way at that gap. The mayor says they have been working, uh, to, they really have been trying to put this decision off as long as they could, but they can't any longer, saying that city employees will be furloughed one day per pay period for the remaining six pay periods. Unclassified workers, typically managers who make a salary, will work on their furlough days without pay. Classified workers will not work. It is an effort that Mayor Latoya Cantrell says will save the city roughly six million dollars. going through the, the, the cushions in the, in, in, the, in the sofa, you know, to find every dollar possible to keep our people working. And the fact that our folks have been working throughout this pandemic, I mean, that is an example and a testament to our hard work and not only that, just how we care about our people. There is still a ways to go to recover that $41 million gap, but Mayor Cantrell says she expects more economic activity as we move into phase 3.1 here. This decision would also need to be approved by the Civil Service Commission first. If approved, it would take effect starting on October 10th. One last thing here, the mayor says that if there are any resources that are needed for what will soon be Hurricane Delta, that they have an emergency fund for that, and that emergency fund has roughly $31 million. That is the story live outside of City Hall. I'm Paul Dudley, Eyewitness News, back to you.